Hey everybody, Redneck in a Hat here. Um, yesterday, uh, out of the blue, just kind of a surprise to me, uh, another YouTuber gave a shout out and I wanted to shout back at him. Uh, his YouTube channel is Parasitic Generation. He does a lot of guns, uh, bug out stuff, knife knife videos, but uh, got a real good channel. Um, he's had it for quite a while. But anyway, uh, go check his channel out. Um, like I said, he did give me a good shout out yesterday on my channel. But anyway, today's video, I'm going to do for him what does every guy like to do? One, they like to shoot guns and hunt. What's the other thing? They like to eat. So today, I'm going to do a chicken video with uh, something I got here. This is a Weber I Grill Mini. And uh, I haven't uh, played with this yet, so we're going to do that right here today. Uh, it's got an app you put on your Android or iPhone. And uh, lets you know when your food is done grilling. It, I guess, beeps at you. We're going to try it out today on camera, right here, right now. Let's go. All right, this I Grill Mini, um, it's Bluetooth uh, connected thermometer basically what it is it connects your phone uh, whether your iPhone or Android phone to this and uh, it tells you what the temperature is through your phone but anyway here's the back of the box know when your food is ready from your mobile device this is a single probe so if you want to check different uh, pieces of meat um, you'd have to uh, pull this probe out of each piece and check the temperature separately. But um, it's got 150 feet uh, for your Bluetooth um, to reach your phone. And because Bluetooth don't go forever, um, you know, 150 feet, that's probably pretty far for a Bluetooth. It may depend on what kind of... You know if you go in the house what kind of wall you got whether you go downstairs or upstairs this says 150 hours of battery life takes the guesswork out of your grilling with a free Weber iGrill app um, it does have a timer graphing um, comes with one meat probe one probe wrap, uh, one colored probe indicator. Comes, with, it does come with the battery. Um, takes one of those coin cell batteries, and it comes with the uh, little magnetic disc to hold the uh, probe wrap to your grill. And of course, it comes with the Weber iGrill Grill Mini. Anyway, this is basically what it is. Let's check it out. Alright, here we go. We got the uh, iGrill Mini. It's from Weber. Let's see if I can get this opened up. See what we got inside. Nice box. Instruction manual. We might need that. A magnetic mount on it. it says remove before using I'm guessing this is to protect the battery well oh okay let's turn this oh, that comes out battery fell out uh, Anyway, you got I guess take this little cap off, get the battery out, take that little tag off. And we can put this back in the base. And we got a food probe here. Let's see what this does here. Food probe plugs in right here. You 
you're gonna have to download the app for this. Okay, we hit the button up here in the top corner. They come up with iGrill Mini 8C1C. Tap that and it should connect Bluetooth. You can even get the display to show a uh, real big temperature. Okay, you can see here on, on the uh, iGrill Mini app, it shows the temperature of the meat and right now it's i've just put it on it's not even really starting to get warmed up yet really it's 102 you can see there's a graph the graph will go up as it the meat starts to heat up and of course it's lit up green that shows it's working i believe it turned red you have to look in a little structure look when it gets up to temperature i've got it set on chicken temperature for chicken but anyway I've just got this stuck on the grill right now you can see here you can pick um, from a number of different things click on uh, chicken there. it set us for chicken 165 degrees it's up to 104 right now like I said it's a pretty cool little app you can put it on your phone and uh, continue uh, doing other things, going in the house, getting baked beans ready or something. Yep, there's the chicken on the grill. The chicken over here. I didn't put none in the middle because it's it's really hot there in the center. But uh, so you just stick that probe inside your meat, whether you got chicken or roast or pork or whatever. As you can see here, um, it's got the graph and the temperature shows up to 197. It's been going up and down. You know, I'll open the grill up and it cools it down a little bit, but it goes right back up. This seems to be working the way it says it should be working. Uh, you just plug it into your chicken and plug it into here. That is red, the circle around there. So when it's red, it should be the temperature and you can take your meat off. Anyway, Parasitic uh, Generations, thanks for the shout out yesterday. Uh, appreciate it. And everybody watching this video, go check out Parasitic Generation. I'm going to put the link to his channel down in the description down below. So check him out. And, uh, Tell him I sent you over uh, this redneck in a hat and I'm out. Kids, every time I hit the record button, somebody's gonna yell, somebody's gonna scream, and go to settings. No, that's not it. All up here at the top. No little thing. No products found. Let me make sure Bluetooth turned on. Maybe I should have did this before I started a video camera.